Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amun Shaktivel, and in this video, we're gonna see how we can properly manage uh, projects. For example, let's say you want to manage your smoke suite, or uh, you want to have a different suite for regression. You want to have a different. You want to run your test on different browsers, which is one of the important use cases where I see people clubbing all of them together. Um, I'll show you guys how how we could you know use projects uh, feature from Playwright. To, to to basically have a very good uh, separation between these uh, browsers and everything, right? Without wasting much time, uh, let me go to the IntelliJ. And uh, for example, what I want to do here is, um, you can go to playwright.configs.ts. And here, if you notice, there is only one project in, uh, available in our um, playwright.config.ts, which means when you do NPX playwright run, uh, it basically runs this default project that you have and it uses the desktop Chrome. Now, what I want to do is if you want to run your test also into uh, Firefox, you can also do that. But in my case, I don't have a Firefox. So what I'll do, I'll use WebKit, which is um, um, the Safari. Now, uh, yeah, this is, this is what I want to do. So if you want to run multiple on my test on multiple browsers, you can also choose this. Let's say you want to run only a particular set of tests on, on a certain process. Let's say you could separate them using uh, test matches. You could use regular expressions and then say um, any, let's say anything like this, right? So I want to have some um, safari.spec.ts. If there is something like this, then I want to use that. So something like this, you can you can use it too. But in most cases, you want to run all the test cases in uh or different browsers, right? Um, now, I also have something called as uh, API suite, which I want to have it as a separate project, right? So what you can do is name is basically API and uh, you could just uh, use, yes, so the corporate is smart enough here. So there is a test message you want to use, or you could also use test directory here because all these things that is inside E2 E test API, I want to use this. Again, you could also mention it here. Um, let's say this test directory here is um, yes. So this way, um, it is very very clean. So everyone knows. Okay, you want to run all the tests inside UI for for the Chrome and all the tests in this offer. Now, if you want to run just the uh, API project, all you have to do is uh, npx play right test and then hyphen hyphen project then you can use api so now what it does is it comes and search for a project called api and it understands it has to execute all the tests inside the api folder and then it just runs them right i'm just showing it as a demo because it will be quick to run right if you run chrome and safari it'll take a lot of time to run now similarly what you could also do you could go to your default playwright.yaml file and you could simply uh, you know, change this accordingly. For example, in my case, I don't have a main branch. I have master branch. Maybe I want to rename it to main, but that's for another day. But for now, I, whenever there is a push happening to master, I want to run the test. Or when, whenever there is a pull request created again, master, master branch, I want to run the test. Again, running on both these things doesn't make sense. So I just run it on pull request to master. And uh, this shouldn't be too much. So now what we have is, we are um, trying to, you know, use the Ubuntu latest machine in GitHub Runner. Again, guys, if you haven't checked out my GitHub Actions playlist, I highly recommend to watch that um, so you could understand our piece, right? We are setting, we are checking out the project. We are setting up the node. We are installing all the dependencies needed to uh, execute our test. And then we also wanted to have um, the Playwright installed hyphen hyphen with devs Chromium. So, because if you want to run your test on Chromium, you want to use that. And uh, you want to run your test. So, for that, we use a NPX Playwright test. You can also add hyphen hyphen project. And then you could simply say Chromium, right? You could also add headless. So, we want to run it in headless mode in, in, the, in the CI. So don't worry about it. Again, you could also construct a package.json for this and then use it. Yeah, anything is fine. It depends upon your, uh, you know, thing. Um, 
Now what I want to do is I want to generate the report and returns in days, let's say three days for me. That's more than enough. So this is where you, you run your UA tests. And the problem is it's only runs on Chrome. So what I'm going to do is I want to copy it and then ask chat, chat GPT, hey, uh, change this workflow to run on Chrome and Safari, so Chromium and Safari. So now what you can do is you could use matrix here. Um, yeah, it should doesn't identify that. Maybe I'll tell. Um, so it doesn't identify that. So maybe I have to give a give a better prompt here. Um, so you can say is use matrix to consider matrix strategy to construct the So now what it does is it should basically introduce matrix here. Yeah, that's it. So all our work is done. Copy it and paste it. Good. So now we have a UA test job uh, and then it is using browser, which means it is like a data driven approach. It runs on Chromium, it runs on WebKit um, with the dips. Everything is good. Um, the project name is also WebKit, so it makes sense. Um, let's check one more time. Yes. So everything looks good. And apart from this, what I also want is I want to have a job called as API test, and I also want to run it. So run some Ubuntu latest, set up all these things. And this is not enough. So I have to copy all these things here. Yeah. Yeah. And use this. That's it. So now what it does is you you don't need this. Um, this is enough. And uh, you want to run your KPA project. So all you can do is API and fine. You can hard code it. Everything looks good. So let's, so this is how the, your, your workflow file looks like. What it does is it run, whenever somebody creates a pull request to the monster branch, it, uh, it runs all these things and we can make it as a mandatory check in, in the, in the GitHub, right? So this is how you, you construct all these things, guys. Right, so now we have a very clear separation. You could also have smoke suite, a uh, regression suite, and just change what you want to run here. That's it. So, sorry, here you can just choose the project based upon your needs, and everything should be all right. Right, I uh, hope this is useful. I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, turn on the